Hey guys, welcome back and happy last day of March. Uh, let's get into our Today in History. Today in History, March 31st, 1889. The Eiffel Tower is dedicated in Paris in a ceremony presided over by Gustave Eiffel, the tower's designer, and attended by French Prime Minister Pierre Girard, a handful of other dignitaries, and 200 construction workers. Right, guys, the Eiffel Tower was originally constructed for the 1889 World's Fair, and it was meant to serve as the entrance to the fair. Um, World Fair is held all over the world at different times in history. At one point, it was held in New York City. If you guys have ever driven past where Shea Stadium was, um, and from Men in Black, I know it as like the spaceships, right? That pretty cool construction where it looks like two flying saucers on the top. That was for the World's Fair when it was held in New York, right? But um, when it was held in Paris, the Eiffel Tower was constructed as the entrance to the event. Right? It stands over a thousand feet tall and the designer of the tower wanted it to commemorate the French Revolution, which took place 100 years prior to the event at the World Fair. Let's get into our lesson. Okay, all right, um, so yesterday I assigned to you guys the key terms of World War II, um, so hopefully you guys have been going through that and taking care of um, all of those vocabulary words. Um, I haven't had anyone reach out to me, so I'm assuming that means that you all are have a pretty good handle on them um, and that you're getting through everything okay. Uh, again, please remember to try and define them on your own first, and then if you find that you're struggling or you want to add more information to it, then you can go and use your notes or use Google, right? reach out to whatever other resources that you have. But please, please, please test yourself a little and see if you can do it on your own. Right? Um, so for today, the first thing that you have is World War II video review. Um, what I have here is click on the link below and watch the video. After watching the video, write down three new facts that you've learned from the video. So obviously a video review, meaning it's going to go over a lot of information that you guys know already, right? It's kind of like a wrap up of World War II, all the information. However, there's going to be some information in there that I was not able to cover with you in class, right? And that you didn't do during your distance learning um, at home. So I want you to find three new facts that you learned throughout the video and just write them down in those three boxes in this graphic organizer here, right? The link for the video is here and I will also link it um, on Google Classroom so you can click right on there if you'd like to as well and I will put it below um, the YouTube video. I'll link it also so you guys have it in a bunch of different places. Um, it's pretty quick. It's like a 15 minute video uh, by John Green. So I think you guys will enjoy it. Right? And then when you're done with that, um, for those of you who stopped by my office hours last week, I had a chance to ask you a little bit about what you thought of how things were going so far with distance learning, right? When we started this journey, I said that this is going to be a learning experience for all of us and that I'm going to do my best to try and make this as easy for you as possible and try to make sure that you guys are being as successful as you possibly can in any way that I can do that. Right? And a lot of me knowing how to help you is by you telling me. So what we've done is we've put together this little survey. It's super quick. It's like five questions. And it just asks you your opinion um, on how you think things are going. If you like the way we're doing things, would you like it to change, right? A lot of these are just like click off one of the answers kind of deal. The last one down here, is there anything else you would like me to know? Please be honest. I mean that, all right? I can't help you if you don't tell me what you need for me to do in order to help you. So be honest, right? You're not going to hurt my feelings, I promise. Um, I hope you guys know that by now and being with me is that I want to help you as much as I can. Um, so tell me what you need from me, okay? Uh, pretty straightforward, super easy. Uh, also, um, I'm sure your parents got the memo that was sent out by the district that there was a change in the way office hours are being conducted, right? So in the past, it was uh, 10 to 12 on Thursdays was devoted to social studies. They switched that up a little and broke it in into two one hour time slots. So my first one will be today, Tuesday, from one to two. I'll be sending out a remind about that and I will also post um, a link for a new Google Hangout. So if you guys wanna stop by, ask me any questions, maybe um, you need help with some of the definitions that I've pushed out to you or the key terms uh, and people, please stop by, ask me. Um, and then again on Tuesday from, I think it's nine to, uh, sorry, Thursday from nine to 10, we will have office hours again, all right? But I will be in touch later on in the week when it comes time for that, all right? 
um, that's everything for tonight. I hope you guys have the best day. Um, and as always, stay safe and make good choices.